Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to take a look at the Mind's Eye Tarot by Olivia Rose. This is a mass-produced deck by U.S. Games. Um, I know that Olivia Rose has a self-published Oracle deck, um, which is on my list. This was a birthday gift. I am excited to use it, but before I do, I wanted to go ahead and do a review of it. Um, also, I told my friend I would do that. <laughs> so um, first and foremost, the box is made really well. I am a sucker for boxes, and this one is just so pretty. It feels nice. It has a nice matte feel to it. So beautiful. The book I noticed, um, also a really nice book, well made. It's glossy with full color pages, which is always nice. Look at that. I was reading a little bit about her creative process and I really want to know more about her. I love doing watercolors, so this definitely piqued my interest. Um, she writes here, the Mind's Eye Tarot illustrations are all created by hand using watercolor paper, markers, gold ink, and tea. Each drawing is energetically charged with positive and loving energy from myself. I have always enjoyed creating art intuitively, so each card has been made in that way. I found that while working on the deck, I would take on the emotions of the card. This gave me a deeper understanding of each card and the emotion I wanted to convey in the art. I love that. I love that. So, um, yeah. The deck is, um, I believe the deck is standard. It's just a standard size tarot deck. Um, and I can measure that in a minute, but as you can see, it's got gold gilding, which is very pretty. Some people really like gold gilding. Some don't. I'm kind of in the middle myself. Um, but I think it goes really well with the deck. So let's check and see if it is standard size. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, it is. The cardstock feels really nice. It feels like it has a nice linen finish, but I'm not sure if it's actually a linen cardstock, but it feels good. I mean, it seems to just bounce back, like it snaps back pretty well. Um, it bends nice, but it feels like it, I mean, it has a nice core. So without really knowing much about it, um, as far as, you know, what the GSM is or anything like that, it does feel like a nice steady, um, steady, sturdy cards, cardstock. Um, as far as whether it's matte or um, glossy, I think it's kind of in the middle, probably leaning more towards matte, but it does have a little bit of a sheen, as you can see. Um, the backs are very simple. It's a very simple design, very well done, and they are reversible. Okay, I am going to do a walkthrough. I'm gonna try really hard not to gush over this deck, but it is going to be really hard, I can already tell. I'm already in love with the colors of this deck, the reds and the golds and the greens, so pretty. Um, so yeah, I will do my best not to take too long. Um, so yeah, here we go, let's get to it. Okay. I really, I really love the reds and golds. So beautiful. 
Lately, I've noticed that I'm really attracted to decks that are leaning more towards the feminine. It used to be that I was, I found that I was more drawn to decks that were very well ban balanced between the masculine and the feminine. But over the last couple of years, I'm really drawn to decks that are, um, they are more feminine. That's my cat. Um, and this one, on top of it, seems feminine, like there's just a feminine power to it, um, like, de like a divine feminine. But even the emperor, the magician are feminine, but it also feels very fae-like to me, like this. This looks very fae to me. Um, it also has an, an androgynous feeling to it as well, but the colors are just incredible. I love this sea green. It's gorgeous. This hermit is just so beautiful. her this star card this is what's on on the cover of the book so beautiful her use of color is amazing okay she's hot Ace of Wands. I love that shells are represent the Ace of Cups. I love the clouds. It does seem like this deck is um, follows that that it follows the Rider Waite Smith tradition. Oh look at the Mer people. This is wonderful. I know this is gonna sound weird, but it kind of is making me think of the movie um, Avatar. It has like this it has that kind of a vibe and it also has a a tripal like vibe to it so I guess if I just I have to stop and look at this three of cups that is incredible it would sort of be like if there were fae on another planet just sort of has that otherworldly, worldly feeling about it. I cannot talk tonight. Oh, look at that. Oh, I love this Five of Cups. That's just wonderful.
This deck is stunning, absolutely stunning. I am excited to use this. Wonderful. I did look for a website for her and I couldn't find it. So maybe I wasn't looking, I don't know. I need to find her website. I really want to see if she sells art independently of the, of her decks because sign me up. You can tell she put so much into this. Oh, I love this Ten of Cups. I just noticed, I'm sorry, I have to back up here. I just noticed with the Ten of Cups, the rainbow is actually in the chalices. You know, the rainbow that you usually see in the Rider Waite Smith deck. Also, in this particular deck, there aren't children playing. It's just a male and female, which I think is also nice. I love the gold in this deck. So pretty. Page of Cups, Mermaid. The little fish in the shell cup. That's so cute. <laughs> this looks like an eel fish thing. Only an outer space eel fish thing. Oh, nice. I love this. I like the eyes that she has in the deck. It just, I don't know, it sort of adds this feeling of this all seeing or third eye vibe. I really like it. It just, it kind of just makes me think intuitive and the ability to see. I really, really love this deck and I love the court cards. I hear you poured those. He wasn't paying attention to me earlier. He didn't start paying attention to me until I sat down to do this video. That's right. I am on to you, cat. Yep. You'll just have to wait. I know. Wow, this is so beautiful. Okay, well, I, I love this deck. I think it's wonderful. And um, now I wanna see how it shuffles. I'm, I'm guessing it's gonna be a little bit slick um, because it's new and that usually changes over time. So, but let's give it a shuffle and see how it goes. who like ripple shuffle ripple shuffle this does pretty well and like I said it will I think it'll wear you know the more that it's worn in not worn out but worn in the more it'll lose that slippery feel but yeah I like this a lot I think she's going to work just fine. 
Okay, well, there you have it. The um, Mind's Eye Tarot. I am digging it. And again, can't wait to use it. I would love to know if um, anyone's using this deck. What do you think about it? Are you into it? Are these the type of image images that you are drawn to like I am? Um, let me know what your thoughts are with this deck. Thanks so much. And um, I appreciate I appreciate you all. Thank you.